Ciao. All right, see you, buddy. All right, I will hit the button. I'm nervous. I'm out of practice. <laughs> I feel like I don't belong here anymore. <laughs> like, like, I just feel very awkward and I'm nervous and I'm anxious. Well, get over it quick because I believe we might be live. Are we live? That's great. Are we? 100%. Yeah, so we're welcome, totally live. Welcome back, Vito. Hey, guys. What's going on? Welcome to Cast Strength. I don't know what episode we're in because I've been away for so long. Uh, 27, I think. <laughs> Yeah, and obviously I forgot to mute the the video. Fire uh, again. Never, yeah. never mind. Vito, get out of here. You're fired. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I don't know what to, I'm doing anymore. Uh, so, yeah. What's going on, everyone? Who do we have in the chat? <laughs> Jason Unsworth. Who's the guy who kind of looks like Vito? <laughs> That's rough. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, I don't know. I don't even know. I'm so out of it, guys. Like, I, I'm, I, I need to, like, kind of build myself back up a little bit. Well, the solution to that, I think, is whiskey. So and you know what? what I haven't, are you pouring I, yourself? I haven't poured anything yet. Well, you should fix that. I should fix that, shouldn't I? Oh, my you God. Should. Everything's just a mess right now. Oh, my goodness gracious. In the meantime, so, we, we seem to have decided to do single cask things tonight, at least mostly. So I'm starting with mm. Blanton's, Ooh. just to get the bourbon out of the way, you know. Yeah, that's a good that's a good call. Get the bourbon out. I, yeah. I was gonna I was going to rock a single cast bourbon, and I decided against it at the last minute for one of my favorite drams right now. Vito knows because I was uh, going nuts about it the last time I saw him. The uh, North Star Glen Tucker's. Right, right. That's a great bottle. It's so so good. Um, yeah, North Star Spirits are, in my opinion, maybe aside from Compass Box, uh, the best cask selectors, uh, independent bottlers that, it, that I've experienced. They, I've never had anything, uh, short of stellar, pun intended. Um, uh. <laughs> and so this one is 10 years old. It is... From a single hogshead and finished in a Bordeaux barrique. Um, and from what I get out of it, I think that it is like a Merlot or a uh, Cab, perhaps. It's It's got really deep, fruity wine influence on it. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's, it's absolutely spectacular. And um, I have my choice of a couple things, but I'm going to start with North Star's Island Star, which is bottled from a single refill hogshead. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I don't remember. No, the Island Star is Orkney, if I'm not mistaken, right, Dan? Correct me if I'm wrong. It is. It's uh, Highland Park, and that is the, the next... Uh one that i'm having after this one but yeah, again yeah. um yeah they say they don't disclose the distilleries on their bottlings for those of you that haven't had a, a north star but they do give the coordinates um of the distillery uh from which the whiskey hails and it's a pretty ingenious uh way of subtly right. putting it on the label we're not going to tell you you know unless you can use a map then yeah it. it's it's like <laughs> it's kind of like the uh the malt whiskey society bottlings they give the code right right, right. so yeah. the, it's if if you have access to a computer or a phone you can check it out quite easily but uh it is it is a cool way i think showing the coordinates um and then the wording on the island star is uh we would tell you what distillery this comes from but it would be awkward <laughs> Nice. So that kind of gives it away. Yeah, kind so, of. A little bit. So so punny. Yep. Sam. So what have I missed? I don't know what I've what's what's been going on. I've been uh, so out of loop. Um, I'm technically still not done. So anyone that, that that's on our Facebook um, or follow my Instagram, I actually don't even think I posted on my Instagram. But on Facebook, we're in the middle of a, doing a bit of a reno, and 
Um, the basement, which is where I am, is almost done. Not quite. Like, I still have a bunch of, like, the vanity still there and a bunch of other stuff that I have to install this weekend. But uh, then immediately after, we're starting an upstairs renovation. So I'm going to be constantly, like, under reno. And I don't know how but how often I'm going to be on, but I want to try my best now to be on, at the very least, for a little bit every couple you, of weeks. You better. <clears throat> yeah. I'll try or you and we'll, might finally get fired for real. And fine. <laughs> because we, we were discussing that we were discussing that today. I have to I never really formally uh, submitted a leave of absence uh, request. It's true. You just slack. So I'm 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 kind of weird. Um, there there is been uh, a discrepancy filed with the HR department. <laughs> who is it? <laughs> Jeremy of the chat. Well, Josh left. Uh, we have a Dan now, in case you missed that while you were gone, Vito. <laughs> <laughs> what a shit. What a shit. Uh, yeah, so who's who's technically head of HR now that um, now that the Gaberbales aren't uh, aren't part aren't directly involved in this anymore? Uh, it would be Christina or Jeremy. I'm not sure. I I vote Christina. Jeremy, Jeremy's uh, the power that Jeremy holds is too far. <laughs> wow, he's he's, he's abusing he's Sorry. abusing it really. That's that's what it's coming down to. Abuse of power. Jeez. If I ever meet him in person, I'm going to kick him in his shin because that's probably as high as I can reach him. And and stools. Yeah, you get a stool, you run up, or get someone to crouch down. You can jump sure. off of the the back. Tra- you know, trampoline. There's all kinds of ways you can get up there. Kick him higher than the shin. <laughs> John V says Texas was banished from the channel. And probably not so much, but it is, I mean, not to like, big fan of the Galga Galga gays, but uh, Canucks, we've got three Canadians. I mean, that's the best way to do it. I'm just throwing it out there. We're the, nicest, not, we're the nicest people. It is a little we more are, We are the nicest. Without having to deal with Texans all the time. Gotta say. Yeah. Although I so am going to be there in a few weeks, so I can't talk too much. Uh, John V said, and Zerpoli wouldn't go mad with power. No, there's a reason for that. Is because she's held power for such a long time and still hasn't gone mad with it. So I have full she's confidence in Christina to, to, wield, to wield the, the heft, the bottom of this power with great responsibility. Um, yeah, this, this, this Island Star is great. I haven't had a good drink of whiskey in quite some time, so this is a very enjoyable right now. I am a big, big, big fan of independent bottled uh, Highland Park. Um, in fact, all of the, the, my favorite Highland Parks I've had have been indie bottles, and subsequently I think they all have been single cask. Which is generally, not always, but generally, I think for the most part, most independent bottlings are single cask. Um, for the most part, yeah, I think you're, for I think the most you're part, on. Obviously, yeah. like Compass Box, which does blends, is, is not in that uh, equation, but um, most of the IBs I have here are, are single cask outside of Compass Box. Mm-hmm. Well, it would be uh, a lot easier to get one barrel from something of a you know similar thing than to get a whole bunch. Certainly, Speaking unless you're a giant blender like a Compass Box or something where you you speaking have access of, to the selection. Speaking of the um, going back to the Orkney independent bottlings, um, it's not I don't it's not an independent bottling. But have you have you tried the Highland Park Texas edition yet, Dan? Not yet. Um, the sh- is that the sherry? Uh... Yeah, um, refill no. sherry. I've got it here. Yeah, so I have one, not the one with tried the, with it the yet. wax cap, right? You have yeah. it with the wax cap, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's it, it's not an independent body, but it's it's probably my favorite uh, my favorite um, uh, Highland Park. My... This is the other independent bodies that I've had have been really good, but the Texas edition one's really really good, especially with a touch of water. It's 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 it just opens up amazingly. The uh, go ahead. No, I was just going to – you go ahead because I want to spend some time in the chat a little bit. Okay. Find some people out. Um, just on the same topic. So this my, – my, my favorite Highland Park <clears throat> was a North Star, and it's the North Star Orkney 11-year. So it's not the Island Star. It's called North Star Orkney. Mm. Um, it is Highland Park, 
It's at 63.7%, so that's got to be cask. I would have uh, yeah, for it's, sure. It, it's the best Highland Park I've ever had. It's absolutely fantastic. I got a sample from Adam, um, and it's just absolutely fantastic. And the the second best Highland Park I've had is probably the Island Star. I really do love it. it it's it's super tasty. Uh, the third best was an independent bottled uh, that David Kramer had. Um, I I really want to say it was a Gordon uh, and McPhail, but I I can't be sure of that. But it, it's it's delicious. I can't get enough of. Um, I I've been really lucky with that because of course, as we know, there are some poor casks that are chosen out there. And um, unfortunately, some of them are bottled and distributed. Um, but I've been really fortunate. I haven't had too many uh, bad um, single casks. Have you guys had any poor single casks? Yes. You've had you've had you've had one specific, and I'm surprised you didn't oh, mention. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that god awful yeah. Tomatin. Yeah. 20... I didn't have that because you oh, guys were rough. going on about how horrible it was. Oh, all of you. It was really I decided it not was to awful. have any. It's a good I problem. wonder if I wonder if Dave still has that bottom because I, w- I wouldn't mind. I, honestly, like I'm a glutton. Like I'm a glutton for punishment. Like obviously, if anyone remembers the uh, the thousand subscriber stream that we did, I I just yeah, just give me the punishment. Like I'm fine with it. Sure. And I have a feeling uh, if Dave has any left, he wouldn't mind parting with it. I'm gonna ask just just to try because I wouldn't like because it had been open for a bit of time. It aerated a little bit, so I'm curious to see how like how much. Essentially, it's been quite some time now. It's probably been close to uh, at least eight months since we've had it, maybe more. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was a really really bad one. Yeah. Maybe really, it's really awesome bad. now. Who knows? Sometimes maybe. they change. Yeah. All right, so into the chat we go because we've ignored that since uh, I'm just derailing everything because I'm just out of uh, out of sorts right now. Um, we have some new, a lot of new faces. Um, at least for for me, I'm not sure if you guys have seen them before, but uh, uh, who do we have? I want to call it the new people. John Belushi. Is that uh, the celebrity John Belushi? Probably not. Uh, yeah. It'd be cool if he was. Uh, ben Demon Hunter, welcome in. Who else? Um, Brandon Elliott is a name I recognize. Is that, is that all the new people? Is that all the new people? Jermaine uh, Compton. That's new to me. Welcome in. Nice to see you. I'm Vito if, uh, if you've been following us <laughs> since I've been gone. <laughs> yeah, I guess for the all new people. Yeah, they, they were saying yeah, in the chat, like, your, your beard definitely looks like you've been gone a while. You know, <laughs> it's like the, they're... It's got some weight. It's nice. Um, But yeah, no. uh, The usual suspects: Patrick, uh, my whiskey den, uh, Benjamin Eves, Richie Z, uh, Tim. Oh, and who's? That's probably Jeremy. Yeah, John John Belushi is saying in the chat. He's been dead since the eighties. I, I was assuming it wasn't him, but he's you know. he's been de- he's been dead since the eighties, and I've been gone since the seventies uh, from this channel. So it's very complicated. Yeah. Hey, Oak and Smoke, what's up? Oak and Smoke, uh, John G. Yeah. No, oh, awesome, awesome. A lot of people in. Nice, nice, to, nice to be back and see everybody. Ben Hope- Demon Hunter, hello from Alberta. Very nice to see a fellow Canadian channel. That's that's right. Hey, hey. Yeah, because now we're officially a Canadian channel. We are. We're not split. I even had to change the description on YouTube because we definitely didn't do that. <laughs> so it's, oh, it it's, doesn't it's, say two, <laughs> two Canadians and a Texan anymore? Not anymore. Not for the last, I don't know, week or whenever I did it. It's been a, I feel it was like, a while. Yeah, we, <laughs> I feel and like I we, just in, invested in a cowboy hat and everything and been practicing yeah, my we, accent. You can change it back. It's fine. <laughs> you do say y'all a lot, so... I still say y'all, and I'm Canadian. I've just gotten used to it now. Y'all I feel, is, I feel it's versatile. Um, yeah. So um, for people that are just joining us, I'm fairly certain that uh, um, I'm going to mute that because that's just annoying. Um, that um, our buddy Jason over on my whiskey, uh, my whiskey, Jesus Christ, <laughs> uh, mash and drum probably just uh, just finished up, and people are joining us. 
We're drinking independent bottlings tonight. Um, so if you guys have Sing- any... Um, We're drinking single cask or single barrel whiskeys. Yeah. Yes, they- you're right. See? Oh, my God. You know there's what? I'm done, talk- I'm done talking. There's a lot of overlap there. There was a lot of overlap. It's just that my single barrels happen to be mostly indies and uh, yours that you're enjoying right now also. But yeah. Brad, with his Blantons... Um, yeah. Once so if you guys again, have you some uh, some bottles, reading the plan, it's fine. So I, I'm, I'm going to make I'm going to make a bold statement right now, Hot and take. say that um, this is like a poor man's black art. Wow! It is wow. very. It, it's got so much of that complex wine going on like so many different layers it's it's so fruity it comes back into like a sweet vanilla it's just fantastic and for considering the black art is one of my favorite non-peated ever uh it is a very bold statement um but it's uh it reminds me of that and the black art is considerably nicer it's got you know 14 more years in a, in a cast to, to mellow out and, and get some character, but this is fantastic stuff. And I would strongly recommend it as a must try must buy. Uh, if anyone can get their hands on it, that's I've had the, it. It's really good. Yeah. I'm, I'm really into it right now. I am on a massive wine cask kick right now. It is and very good. For a guy who originally started out heavy into bourbon and then into Isla, uh, now I'm into the real, the real nice sweet wine casks. Nice. Carl Ivy is drinking some uh, wild turkey rare breed. That's pretty tasty too. Excellent. It it is very tasty. That is <clears throat> up here in Canada. Rare breed is bar none the most. Uh, reasonably priced uh, barrel proof bourbon that we can get. Um, how, how much is it in? Uh... It's about sixty. Um, but would you wouldn't you say that? Uh, actually, no. Never mind. You're correct. My apologies. I was saying. You know what? I don't know why it popped into my head. Four roses, single barrel. Delicious bourbon. Delicious. Is fantastic. Yeah. It's just not not barrel proof. I would I would probably it. I agree with your statement for the for the strength, but for bang for buck. Um, the four roses single barrel I'd put ahead of the rare breed. I like the rare breed, but I like the, the four roses just a little bit more. Yep, um, it's delicious. Um, particularly uh, Warehouse Le. I've had a few bottles from Warehouse Le on the four roses single. That's uh, just delicious bourbon. And again, for the price, which I think is like fifty five bucks or something at at LCBO. Yeah, uh, Richie Z. Uh, Dan. Um, what uh, what's the um, the wine finish got you drinking right now? Let's for the people that are just joining. Uh, Richie Z, I am drinking North Star, uh, Glen Tucker's ten year. I don't know if that's focusing, guys. You're good. Mostly. Um, it's it's fantastic. So it is uh, unchill filtered, natural color, distilled March two thousand eight, bottled from a refill hogshead and finished in a Bordeaux barrique. Which is just a cask from the Bordeaux region, uh, which could be many different um, grapes, many different wines. But um, I think that it's, if I really had to guess, I'd say it was a Merlot from from the notes that I get. Yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably, I'd have to agree with you on that one. It, it seems, it seems a lot like uh, fresh fruity, just deep richness. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a super wine sommelier or anything but um i do know more than the average person i'd I'd say and uh i used to be a big wine guy um and i'd say it's bordeaux it's at 59.2 percent um and most of the other north stars were bottled at around 50 i think um so this one might might again be a cask strength yeah Um, the the ones i have are 50 percent and there was only 315 bottles of this. Mm. Wow. Quick shout, quick uh, hello to um, the rookie wine and whiskey enthusiast. Uh, welcome in. I don't think I saw him earlier. And um, Rob, Whiskey in the Six, was in the chat a couple minutes ago. I wonder if he's still there. Um, 
Good to see you, buddy. Uh, ben Demon Hunter uh, has only had one bottle of bourbon, and it was Bruff Buffalo Trace. He's asking if we'd recommend the Four Roses next, and I would say absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. Buffalo Trace is not a bad bourbon, um, but I, I would certainly hold the Four Roses single barrel far above it. And to be completely honest, the small batch is also uh, a really delicious bourbon uh, from Four Roses. Mm -hmm. um, e either of those, I think um, you would enjoy. If you if you like the Buffalo Trace, uh, Ben, um, you'll probably really enjoy the uh, Four Roses single barrel. Yeah, it's really, it's it's. I've never had the uh, the the um, the base bottling, but the four Ro the four roses single barrel is fantastic. Um, another good one uh, to look out for because um, again, I'm assuming that he's probably in the states. Um, Eagle uh, Eagle Rare Ten is a really good one to pick up as well. Um, probably pro uh, on a uh, most days is my favorite bourbon. Uh, just a bit expensive up in Canada to constantly have on the shelf. Wild Turkey One Hundred One's my my constant everyday bourbon if i were to drink it every day it looks like ben demon hunters already out the door to go find some four roses uh thanks for <laughs> hanging out buddy catch you later hey, um, if we can if we can get people out uh ignoring us and buying whiskey i think that's probably for the best because we just ramble for everyone really like yeah real. Let, you don't okay. have to listen to us very much longer and you're going to go out and get some tasty whiskey yeah, I'm mm. um, going to give a quick shout out to, I don't think he's in the chat because it is his birthday today, uh, Scott Hartman, who will probably be watching this on the replay. Happy birthday, buddy. I uh, hope you're having a good one. Happy birthday. I actually gave him some uh, blind samples a while ago, and he just got around to the first one this evening, and he did a pretty good job, actually. He uh, Mentioned notes of coastal sea and a bit of smoke and whatnot, and it was uh, Jura prophecy that I gave him. So, Pr did a pretty good job of nailing that one down. So, uh, people in the chat world, what are your favorite uh, single barrels or single casks that you've had? Um, what are the worst ones that you've had? I know. As I said earlier, I've had spectacular luck with single casks, and uh, aside from that tomatin that uh, Vito and Brad were talking about earlier, which I actually didn't try, I don't know too many single casks that have been bad selections. Yeah, I don't think I've had a ton. I'm trying to think if there has been another one that I've really disliked. Yeah, um, I, I'm I'm all about them. I'm almost done this one, and I think I'm going to move on to uh, this bad boy. Mm. That's so a that's, single barrel? Yeah, Michter's Single Barrel Straight Rye. Uh, one of my favorite ryes for uh, its uh, price point. Um Whiskey Mick was not a fan of the Belvani 12-year single barrel. So, um, okay, there you go. Um, we picked a single barrel, I believe, uh, for a friend of ours' birthday last year, for Dave's birthday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, was that a, that was a 12 single barrel we got him, right? That was... I think it was. I think it was. It was either 12 or 14, but I'm, all, I'm, almost, posi I'm almost positive it was 12. You're right. And it had some uh, banana notes on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that was really good. So, oh, lot, lots of going on here. Power 17 single cask was the best. Don't think I've had a bad one. That's from Donald Rant. Power so is single. Hmm. Russell's Reserve Standard Single Barrels are sumptuous. It's from Richie Z. Yeah, Caden Heads, Doug uh, Christoph. Caden Heads, you, can, you really can't go wrong with a lot of their stuff, I don't think. Um, I, I think they're the oldest uh, independent bottler in Scotland. Okay, cool. So they certainly know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. They obviously have uh, quite their reputation. Oh, and Dave, 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 Dave uh, confirmed it was the twelve. Yeah. In the chat. 
Yeah, and that was pretty good. But again, it just goes to show, right? From one barrel to the next. Yep. Um, well, when when the one that we were mentioning, the Tomatin, I spoke with the with the, um, with the rep um, about it, and I asked him. I was like, "Do you know anything about like that that process? Maybe that batch? You know what was going on?" And he said, "He's like, well, they they uh, provinces or store reps go out." They have the, the 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 samples to choose from, and the LCBO rep must have just liked it somehow, and that's the bottle. That's the one they picked, and you know they don't really have a lot of control over you know what what they choose. So, um, you know, if a, if a, if a barrel, if a single barrel, if a single pick comes out your way, and uh, you're you know the owners, or you know that they that you know the track record of the bottlings are pretty good. Then, um, then you know you're in good shape. But I, I don't know if I'll ever trust another LCBO single barrel pick uh, yeah, ev- um, ever again. Really, that's something that does seem to be uh, widely accepted yeah. is the poor poor selection by LCBO. Yep. Um, Steve A, I believe, I got to scroll back up, was having a single malt whiskey society bottling of Glen Scotia. Um, Steve A, what's the name of that? Because I love the names of those bottles. If you could uh, share the name with that, Mm. because they're just fantastic. I think everyone can agree there that uh, they have a wonderful way of <laughs> naming those bottles. Yeah, I've got to switch uh, to a green spot uh, single cask. This is a sample from a bottle that I own that is in Texas. But, uh, it is technically a surprise, sample. surprise. Brad only has a sample of one of his bottles in Texas. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, next month I'll, I'll get at least most of that stuff back. Probably, so that's right. Some of it. I just opened up my uh, North Star Isla Star, uh, which is a single refill hogshead from Kalila. Nice. 11, 11 year age, 50% ABV. And, and it's got such a. Lafroigness about it. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's got a very, very, very like heavy medicinal. Like, I would never have picked this as. And I think most of the Canadians that have picked this one out, exactly, yeah, have said that. Have said this is this is a, like a young Lafroy, and uh, when we finally looked, when we figured out, because this was before we knew that uh, the coordinates were the distillery, before we fi- we 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 searched it up, we're like, oh, this has to be Lafroy, and it's got to be Lafroy, and then we looked it up, and it's no, it's Kalila, and it's like, damn. Yeah, it it it, and especially for Kalila, as I'm getting to know Kalila a lot more, it's definitely. Uh, Probably maybe outside of Coloman, the least experience um, that I have with Isla Distilleries, and it, in comparison to Lafroy, it doesn't have such a, a punchy uh, peat. It's usually a little more subtle. Um, in my for my taste, and mm-hmm. that one is it's it's quite shocking. But it, again, it goes to show certain casks, right, and and the differences between them. So certain casks, and I'm, I'd be curious to. Um... Like what's the what's the Kalila twelve um, maturity? Is it, is it a hogshead there too, or do we know off the top of our heads? If anyone in the chat knows what Kalila twelve's main um, cask is, I'm going to just take a jump and say that um, it's ex bourbon because it usually it, is. Yeah, just due to number numbers, right? Because I I think. I, I know they're the highest producing Isla distillery. Well, they, um, they, the production mo- mostly goes into the blends, right? But for their for their age statements, it might be different, right? True. Yep. Absolutely. Right. Uh, like for all the Johnny Walker blends, they might they might just be pumping out the ex bourbon, but for their twelve, it could be something different. That's that's why like I was confused because otherwise I would have said the exact same thing. It would have been ex bourbon, but um, I think uh, we might be getting a guest. A guest? Ooh, I thought I was the guest tonight. I thought I was a special guest. You don't count as a guest. Oh, come on, man. This is my first. This is my first stream in like two months. <laughs> it's just silly. Oh God. Maybe, oh, who is it? I'm excited. Theoretically, we could have a guest. 
I mean, I, I see I the name see already. The name so already. It's kind of, so it's kind of for me, but I'll try to act surprised <laughs> when he actually, when he actually pops, pops up. Or she. Or she. Who knows? Now we have double feet. Oh, 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 God. Hey, God. There, he there he is. How's it going, gents? What's hey, up? Ed. Hey, hey, it's an Ed. It's been a while since I've been on here. here. How, you guys, How you guys doing? Good, man. Good, man. How about you? Oh, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Just, just got off of work and running home, running so I can see your beautiful, see your beautiful faces. faces. Oh, we appreciate, oh, we appreciate it. it. Jeremy I'm, in the I'm, chat I'm, is saying Vito was special, not the guest. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You know what's you know what's you know what's, you know what's special? Ed's beard, Ed's beard is special. Beard is special. That's, majestic that's majestic right now. Right now. That's cool. I know. That's I know. Actually, it's, it's actually it's the point where I got to trim right it down, though. down though. No, it's, no, it's, going, man. Going, man. Dude, let's keep it going. No, 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 no. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta understand. At some point, at some point, it stops growing out. It just starts, it just starts getting like getting like square. Square. It turns into this big rectangle. I wish, I wish, I wish my beard would go that way. Look, I look, I look, I look like a dead girl. I had some head second. Echo. We got crazy got echo, echo apparently. apparently. Uh oh, uh oh. Who was giving an echo? It's actually me, it's actually me. Hey, you know what? Hey, you know what? I want. Did you guys have any technical issues when I was gone? No, gone? we didn't. No, no. no. Smooth, 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 smooth. Like the top, like of, the top of, your of your head, bud. Oh, uh, uh, don't be talking about my head, bud. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I hear an echo now too. All right, all right. Any better? Any better? We'll find out in a second, I guess. So far, so good. We're just gonna, Ed, we're just, Ed, so, just so epic. Your epic, voice, your voice is, just is just so monumental, monumental that it causes, that it causes an echo. An echo. <laughs> yeah. I think they're still, still, still echoing. Still echoing. Still echoing. That's uh, an interesting uh, phenomenon. It's only this one, is what, one, what, what happens when Cask when Cask is actually operating at Cask strength. They can't. They can't. They can't, they can't, they can't, can't handle. The strength. The strength. It's true. <laughs> That's very, very strange. I'm not hearing an echo on the broadcast side, so I don't know what YouTube is doing. Uh, does, uh, it sound, does it sound cool, cool at least, guys? guys? Like, is like, like, is you know, it, you know? It's an acid, it's an acid trip, trip Wednesday. Wednesday. Let's see. Let's see if this works. I'll just uh, talk for a second and see if things echo. Not for me on the call. I don't know. It sounds good for me. I'm good, apparently, and uh, everyone else is echoing, even though we weren't before, and that makes no sense. Because Ed has headphones. Somehow it's Vito's fault. Uh, I don't know. We have to wait for the chat to catch up now. Now I do hear a little bit of an echo, not a ton. Oh, I sound, oh, great, I sound great now. Oh, fuck, oh you, fuck you, Jeremy. No Vito, Vito, sound. No Vito sound. Okay, well, hopefully that's... Okay, I'm, okay. I'm tweaking things again. So what, I don't... So what, I don't... You guys can't, you guys hear, me? can't hear me? Ed broke everything. <laughs> Ed breaks, Ed the, breaks internet. the internet. It's fine. It's fine. I'm talking. I'm talking. Does this work? Does this work? No one just... No one just cried. No Nobody is muted. This is this is this is professionalism. This is the this kind is of the kind of professionalism, professionalism that, that people have people come, have to, come expect to expect <laughs> when you when you watch a cast strength stream. This is what you this came for. This is what you, for. This what you appreciate. <laughs> Back, but everybody has echo. Holy. Holy. Uh, I don't know. I'm not getting any echo on the call, and my audio is the one going out to YouTube, so I'm not sure what that would be coming from. Yeah, it's on my side, but I'm the only one not echoing, and my audio hasn't changed since Ed. Brad, it's Brad, all it's on, on you, buddy. buddy. Apparently it's my fault somehow. 
you're no, you're, you're, no, you're, you're, I mean, it's all, you're all, gonna have, you're gonna to, have do to do all the talking, all the talking here. here. We're just pretty faces, oh, faces no. now. <laughs> Did I try turning it off and on again a couple of times? Yeah, that's why you couldn't hear people talking for a second. Call me back. Call me back. Call me back. Call me back. I'm just gonna exit out and try it again. Try it again. We'll work it out, maybe. If not, you know, uh, we had part of a show. Yeah, that's something. That's something. That is. That is something. Do I still have an echo, echo, guys? guys? Should should we just test that a little bit? Test 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 test, 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 one, two, test, one, two, test, one, three. Test, three, five. Three, five. So many tests. Am I echoing still? Am I echoing still? I love it when a plan, when just, a plan doesn't just doesn't work. Doesn't yeah. work. <laughs> and we're the Z team. We're the Z team. The Z team. <laughs> the Z team. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to have to get out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to get out of here. Am I, uh, am I, uh, am I working, guys? working, guys? Yeah, everyone is echoing apparently, though, except for me. But I don't hear an echo, so I'm not sure why I would do that. I'm sorry. I'm I sorry. Just, I should I'm just, just gonna. I'm just gonna. I feel like I should. I feel like I should. Like I, should I, I messed everything I messed up. Everything I messed up. up your I messed happy, up your happy, happy little happy stream. little stream. No, it wasn't. No, happy it wasn't happy at all. at all. Don't worry. It was happy when it you was came happy in. when you came in. It's true. Um, um Ed, bow out, bow out for just a minute, come back in, come back in. Got it. You got it. How's the? Is there any echo now? Let's find out. Talking, talking, talking. Well, you're not echoing anyways, so it's more me and Dan if we're echoing still. Let's hear some uh, feedback. <laughs> Even the cork pop echoed. Am I echoing, guys? Give me something. Catch up here. No, no it should. They should have. You should. No, no. Okay, so somehow having Ed on the call, even though he is wearing headphones, is creating an echo. So that. Okay. Is, so uh, let's 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 oh. just try bringing Ed back in. Um, and Am I? <clears throat> how about me? Am I echoing, guys? Testing, testing. Okay. It, it, it looks like that. I think we're good. Um, yeah, so I'll try to get Ed back. Yeah, we'll see, uh, see if, if maybe. Works. maybe. All, right. All right. What's the word? What's the word? Bird. Bird. It's always it's always been bird. <laughs> it's always bird. No echo. No, we're echo. Good. We're good. All right. All right. All right. Turning it off and on and off and on and off and on. <laughs> There's the trick. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Well done, well team. done, team. <laughs> All right, only took, All right, only took, took us only about took us 10, about 10, 15 minutes, guys. Hold on, guys, hold wait on. a minute, wait a minute. Okay, we only, okay, we only three people dropped three out. People dropped out. It's not too bad. Not too thank bad. you guys, thank you guys around, for sticking around during that unbelievable, unbelievable uh, uh, professional, professional segment of segments of ours. Yeah, it's totally my fault. Totally my fault. And we had no issues, so it's fine. I just came to sabotage your stream. That's what I. It's Vito's fault. It's all good. Always, always, always my fault. It's fine. So, uh, so Ed, Ed, what did you just, did pour, you just into pour into that glass? That glass? So this is something, this is something I, I picked up I picked tonight, up tonight at work. At work. This, we're echoing. Yes. 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 Is, you know? is it? Is it? Who's is it? Who's it? Who's it? All of us, all of us, or just somehow having Ed on the call seems to be creating echo, even though that makes zero sense. Since it doesn't. He does it Make yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm getting any, be getting any. How do yeah. other How YouTube, do YouTube channels channel man, man bullshit? bullshit? <laughs> like, why, like, why, why is, why is it us? Instead of just pretending. It's, it's, it's always, always, always us. us the, the hell, the hell, man. Yeah, some people are saying it's okay now. Some people are saying it's still echoing. So maybe it's on YouTube and, like, it's just YouTube is being stupid. I don't know. Hey. Hey, refresh, your, refresh, refresh your refresh your, your pages, pages guys. guys. Steve, refresh, Steve, your, page refresh your page for me. 
Yeah, John G. Ever just only listen with one ear, it fixes it. <laughs> or just, or just, you know, you drink know, your drinks, drink your drinks faster, faster, people, at home, people at home, and you probably, and you probably won't recognize, probably won't recognize it, as it as much. True. Drink until drink the until echoes, echoes become one. Become one. <laughs> <laughs> But see, but it doesn't see, make any it doesn't sense, make any because, sense because, because even if Ed did have another window open, window open, it shouldn't it affect, shouldn't affect me, me no, or, or so, Dan, Dan. Like, he's got headphones on. It should not be able to echo into his mic for us to hear it. And I don't hear an echo. So Windows is doing something, or YouTube is being stupid. I don't know. It's, prob- it's, prob- it's, it's, probably, it's, probably, it's probably Windows. Windows. You should Windows. get a you Mac. Should get a Mac. Mm, I don't think that would help anything. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. But unfortunately, since Vito is breaking everything by Ed being here, I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, uh, well, I tell you what. I'll drop out of the call. We, I can we, come, I can on, come as on as a guest once we figured, figured out this whole, out this whole issue. issue. That sounds like mm-hmm. a solid plan. I think, I think, I think that's, I think the, best that's, that's the best thing to do. I will. I will. I will return. I will return All right. at a later. At a later. <laughs> See you soon, man. Thanks for trying. Thanks for trying. And make sure you and check, make sure you out, check the out the Rock Cut Review. 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 My channel. We do that. Uh, 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 live streaming, live on, streaming Tuesdays. on Tuesdays. They're almost Sounds always live. more professional than us. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Uh, I have to agree with Steve. It has to be something on your end. You're hosting. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't make any sense. It makes it makes zero sense, and I really hope that we're not echoing anymore. Um, but yeah, that's that's an unfortunate situation there. Sure, Jeremy Simpson. <laughs> these issues only happen when there's a Mac user on the call. So. I don't know, man. It wasn't me. Mm. However, Dan just dropped out for some reason. All right, it's just me and you now, I guys. Guess so, uh, okay, I'm gonna take this opportunity to plug something. That I'm gonna try to make happen next Monday night. All right. Uh, so uh, Brad did his Ask Brad thing, and that was a really cool thing. Uh, I I feel like we need to have another one of those very soon. Um, we do. And I kind of want to try uh, my own solo stream, and I've been thinking about it for a lot, for quite some time. And I think it's going to happen um, this coming Monday night. And I'm going to try to do it every Monday night. Uh, follow, uh, follow on Facebook and Twitter and social, and uh, Instagram at uh, The Cast Strength. All the links are going to be in the description below. Uh, but uh, for like the timing and everything, because I'm still ironing that out. But I'm going to try to do it on Monday. Um, it's pretty much just going to be like a hangout. I'm going to probably do like a really short five to ten minute like live review of something that you guys can drink along with me and talk about uh, what you're getting, what you're not getting, and kind of have just like a kind of an informal sort of uh, tasting of the bottle that I select for that day. Right. And then after that, I'm just probably going to just talk about football and some of my um, other things, football, anime. Uh, maybe talk about some beers and stuff like that, but I just kind of want to like a riff on some stuff that happened throughout the week that I watched and uh, fa- fo- and with with uh, American football NFL starting uh, tomorrow. Um, I'm in a couple of fantasy drafts and I'm really into that. Um, so I might be talking a little bit about that, so we can have a co- like you know go back and forth about that if anyone's interested. I'm gonna try it out on Monday night and see how well that goes. Uh, but yeah, follow uh, follow us on all of our social media platforms for a specific timing for that. If you guys are interested in joining me for that, um, but yeah, so it won't be late Monday night because there is a Monday night football game at eight fifteen uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I will be uh, cutting off the stream around eight o'clock so that I can prep for um, hosting duties and other things for the games. Uh, but uh, it'll probably be around like seven o'clock, I think. But I'm gonna iron that out. Maybe I'll do a full hour. Maybe I'll just do half an hour. I'm not too sure. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm gonna try and try and do something like that. If you guys are interested, feel free to pop in. And like I said, uh, for the final timing and everything, just follow us on our social media stuff, and I'll um, I'll pop everything out there. Um, and yeah, I'll probably be doing. 
I'll probably be doing a lag of Lulin that night, but um, we'll see. We'll see. That sounds pretty yeah. fun. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I'm gonna gonna just try it out. I don't know how into in, into people, how into anime and football everyone is, but um, and especially me talking, being this like the majority talker. I'm not the greatest talker. I'm I'm, I'm definitely. I'll, I'm not gonna bring politics into this, but. Yeah, I al- I almost let it slip. Ooh boy, uh, probably could have lost a couple of viewers there. Uh, but yeah, uh, we'll we'll see how it works. I I I think I could probably do- fill a full hour by myself, but we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, so that's have, that's. Uh, have a Dan again, I think. Welcome back, just Dan. Just a second, as soon as the camera actually switches. There we go. All right. Um, yeah. All right. So a couple of people uh, popped in while you were gone. Uh, Moose uh, seventy six. The Rocket Review is now in the chat because he was uh, um, plagued by my unfortunate bad habit. I, I, don't know. I fully I blame Vito. I'm not sure why or how, but yeah. Um, Matthew Wright, my Ugadol friend, is in uh, the chat as well. Welcome in, buddy. <laughs> Jeremy Sims is saying, but the NFL isn't football. Fair. It's American football. Yeah, but it's it's football. hand egg. Hand egg. Hand sure. egg. That's all sports ball to me. It's fine. Uh, oh, Bill Whiskey Dick. Hey, man, what's going on? Uh, thanks for stopping in. Uh, he says that for live streams, you do not need a good title. Well, technically, we have a title. Technically, a title. we do we have a title. Blank. It's just a yeah. <laughs> so yeah. That's 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 that. But uh, yeah, man, thanks for coming in. Uh, Jason's in the chat, uh, mash and drum. Awesome to to, to welcome you in. Uh, also, uh, I cannot wait for October. It's gonna be so so it's fun. Be crazy. Yeah. Um, are we still? Oh, what? I'm s- guys. I'm smelling an empty Glen Karen right now. Oh that's not, come on, that's, that's not a good sign. You need no. to fill that up with something. I picked yeah. up the wrong one. I'm so out of practice. Everything's out of place right now. You know what though? Sniffing an empty Glen Cairn is better than sniffing a Glen Cairn full of water. That's true. Which I have done. Which I'm super has. guilty of all the time. Absolutely. <laughs> Never. Okay. Since we're on the topic of Glen Cairns, I need to rant for a quick minute. Who the hell is uploading those videos? It's a mystery. I'm. I'm. It shouldn't I'm be li- that I'm, hard of a mystery since not very many people have access to the channel. But it's a mystery. <laughs> But I, no, but legitimately, like they just pop up, and I have to go in, change the thumb t- the thumbnail, and and adjust the 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 um, the like the the description to include all of our stuff, and it, it's driving me crazy. It's not you. It's not, it's not me. Uh, Dan, Jeremy says it's not him. Christina has no time. So either Brad has given the information out, or or <laughs> or I'm just passing it, it out. It's funny. Or it could or or. The Gberbales g- might still have access to the to the account. I don't know. I mean, you could literally go in and see who has access to the account, so it shouldn't be that. Those are not my hands. I have tattoos. They're definitely it's not, not mine either. It's so, not my hands. I mean, <laughs> you should be able to narrow it down pretty quickly. But for now, it's a mystery. And it's I'm really strange, upset about this. And it's probably going to get weirder. <laughs> I don't have I don't have the time to investigate right now. I'm still I'm still like. In the middle of this reno, so <laughs> the whiskey dick in the chat is saying it's him. Damn it! Bro. <laughs> oh, whiskey dick found himself at a random person's house tonight, who had a collection that rivaled the vault. He had three different art bags that he had never tried this evening. Ooh. So, whiskey dick, what were they? Yeah, I'm actually really interested on that one. Uh, Lance is trolling y'all from Zerpoli's account. Is that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it could it could be Lance. That, that is possible. Um But uh yeah. Well Dave Lars in the chat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? So uh for some people that are, uh one Laws Cross. That's a new name. Don't tear off my scotch or my anime. Ooh, you're gonna enjoy Monday night, then, man. If you, if you, if you, uh, oh man, I'm gonna go off on anime. Oh boy, <laughs> that's my jam, man. Yikes. If you guys like anime, I'm I'm the guy to, the guy to listen to. 
Actually, uh, you know what? Yeah, I take that back. Christina I'm not the guy to listen the to for anime. Hooded whiskey goddess. She, indeed, uh, she is. is accurate. Um, if you guys actually like um, enjoy anime, the one of my favorite people to listen to um, on um, on anime, just his opinion and not like it's gospel or anything, but I just love his presentation, the way he talks about it. Uh, Giguk, G I K K U K on YouTube. Um, absolutely fantastic. He puts a lot of time and effort into his stuff, and it's top notch quality, like and and great humor. Um, and he just knows where to place humor and heartfeltness and into everything. And it's great, great analyzation of uh, of a lot of really high profile animes and a lot of low profile stuff too. Like he he points out some stuff that I've never even heard of. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, that's for Monday night. So we'll keep that at, at that. This uh, Michter's is just a fantastic rye, and I've only had two bottles of this, so I haven't had much diversity to see if there is a difference between one barrel to the next. Um, this barrel is one nine B one three one, and it is it it's just a stellar stellar bottle. It's got. A lot of those classic dill notes that a lot of rye has, a lot of American rye has a, a lot of strong dill notes, like a minty eucalyptus, old leather, and it's just a, a great, great rye. And up here, it's around seventy bucks. Um, so again, for for us up in Canada, with not a ton of availability of a lot of American stuff, that's a really good price for a really good rye. So for you Canadians that are in the chat. Um, I would strongly recommend it. Mm. Uh, going back a bit, uh, the whiskey dick said that he had Galileo, Ardverds, and Dark Cove. Were they the, were any of those three the committee release, or were they just the st- the, um, the regular bottlings? Those are all. Um, all three of those are absolutely amazing. Oh yeah. boy, oh boy. Especially the Dark Cove. Oh, the Dark Cove's great. We had the Galileo, uh, right, Brad? We opened that up, right? No, it was a supernova, no, I think. Ah, uh, it was a supernova, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, that was really yeah. good. I have only had the or or, or or however that one is pronounced. Arverds? I think that's how... I, I'm going to just... Go on Arverds? Arverds. That, Ard, Ard it, it was the second art bag that I had ever had. Mm, no committee releases, yeah. If you ever get a chance to uh, build, if you, if you if you haven't already, the Dark Cove committee release is probably one of the best whiskeys that I, th- I think I've ever had. It's amazing. Yeah. And not to say that I've had a lot of whiskeys. Um, I'm pretty sure I've had no whiskeys in comparison to a lot of people, but uh, I've been fortunate enough to have quite a number of Ardbeg releases, and uh, that one still is the, the, the best one I've probably had. Um. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to move on to uh, my last single uh, cask that I have, and it's the uh, long, row single ca- long Row Single Cask. Aged 17 years, uh, 7 years in ex-bourbon, 10 years in ex-chardonnay barrels. Um, this was a single cask release uh, for Alberta, um, one of the many provinces in Canada. They got their hands on this this one, and it is absolutely fantastic. It airs out. It ox- it oxidizes. And I feel like we could probably talk a little bit about that too, Brad, because there was an article that was posted on the Whiskey Tribe um, about oxidization that you had a really good um, uh, analytic view on. Uh, yeah, I was talking about how whiskey doesn't oxidize anymore in the bottle or in a glass when it's open because it's basically done all its its oxidization chemically speaking you know while it's in the barrel and and through the whole process because there's always a little at least some oxygen in the process so any oxidization is going to happen before it gets to the bottle probably but it was very specifically technically talking about the scientific definition of oxidization which most whiskey people probably aren't meaning the actual chemical process. They're just talking about having it access to open air and, you know, the, the intermingling of the air with the whiskey, uh, you know, as far as evaporation of the alcohol and, and things. It, you know, whatever changes happen in the glass or if the bottle is getting low, you know, not necessarily the actual scientific term of oxidization. 
Uh, and so the, the article is just being a little bit picky, uh, which is, I mean, fair enough. They, they are accurate as far as I could tell, you know, with, with the way the scientific term would be used. But it's sort of like uh, how most people use the term theory against how scientists would use the term theory. You know, there's technically one is accurate and one isn't, but like it's in common use in different ways. And as long as you understand the context then and you understand what they mean, then it's fine. It's an interesting thing because over the last couple of months, um, I've been I've been very. It seems like like there's been more and more, sort of, clickbaity, uh, like articles about stuff like this. Like like uh, what was one of the other ones? Um, um, I think it was about scotch and. Um, I forget. I, I I'm really bad. My memory's really bad. But there was another. There was been a couple that have been just like, well, technically you're right, but that's not what we mean when we're talking about like a certain term, like oxidization in whiskey. It's just the the way that the air in the bottle aerates the whiskey as like like it's just it's just everything kind of gets taken out of context and it, it's it's used to kind of provoke, um, uh, like. With like dr- spirit drinkers into kind of you know so like you know what 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 is were you talking about that you know all whiskey doesn't oxidize it's, it, it 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 I don't know it's it's weird like uh, the, the, well, there's a lot of people that are kind of going out there and just doing these sort of weird articles that um out, a bit out of context and just sort of I don't know yeah I'm, 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 as whiskey gets more popular you're gonna get more people trying to get the clickbait. You know, action. So it's gonna happen. It's probably gonna yeah. get worse. Yeah, great, wonderful. On, to, on the topic, to... um, what are some whiskeys that have oxidized good, and what are some whiskeys that have uh, gone downhill from oh, being open boy. for a while? And oh, I know what Vito, Vito has say. a story about that. I'm sure. Right we, away, before, I, I, before I know. Vito rants. I just want to answer uh, Donald Rance there asking what Green Spot single cask it was. It was the Bordeaux, uh, Louisville, Barton, or whatever the, the Bordeaux finished one was. Nice. I'd, I'd really like to try one of those. Uh, I don't think I have tried any single cask Irish. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't either. Oh, it's so good. I know. I just poured the same thing, Vito. Uh, oh, me and Vito man. split a bottle of that long row, and I've just been nosing it. Oh, and, it, hit, uh, it hits the top of your oh. palate like 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 a boxer. It's like just like like just fresh fruits. Goosh. Well, I I don't have any of that handy uh, at arm's reach, so I'm going to be just a jackass. Because... Oh no. I happen to have a single cask Irish whiskey. Oh, <laughs> oh! That you both know what it's gonna oh. be. It's gotta be Green Cask. Oh. I don't have a ton it's... left, so yes. I am gonna do a, a haze pour of it. It's not gonna be a very uh, large pour. You son, you son of a. Um, folks, this this watching Brad drink this is worth it's... the price of admission alone. It, it has to be done just because I know it annoys me so much. Oh, I, I hate, I hate you. <laughs> for the people that don't know, for the new people, um, yeah, just go ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just mute you real quick. You'll tell them what you're drinking. Well, I'm, I'm drinking Red Breast Dream Cask, a 32 year old single cask Red Breast that might be my favorite whiskey on earth, and I'm pretty sure is Vito's. <laughs> And you can be sure that it is also mine. Oh, there, oh, there you go. Uh, it's unbelievable. It is. It's so hard to explain it. And when I wrote no, my notes, um, I wrote that down. It's hard to explain. It's. It's. I don't like whiskeys that are overly sweet, but it's so sweet. But it. It's so balanced. It has everything in it. It's just literally every wonderful thing about irish whiskey just turned up to a thousand absolutely it's so it's good. just unbelievable and every sip you get just a completely different series of notes it's like got almost every note that i have ever gotten in a whiskey 
some way. Hey, Brad. Yes, Vito. Hey, Brad. Yeah, Vito. Yeah, Vito. Hate you. That's okay. <laughs> You'll get over it. Yeah, I will. Oh, man. I'm so jealous. And you know what? I was at your house not too long ago. It's true. And you know, I didn't even bring it up. Didn't even bring it up. That's, I mean, that was up to you. <laughs> I, I was I was in I was in I was in your vault and I'm just like I, I walked in, in and I was like I gave you the choices. I was like, oh. I was like oh what am I gonna drink and I my head just turned right to it and I was like oh the red the red breast is right there I was like oh no I can't do that right now I felt so bad. Dram man, Kentucky says they should have called it Wet Dream Cask Thirty Two <laughs> Year. <laughs> I mean, man, if you've ever if you've ever had right the pleasure. If you ever had the pleasure of actually of having it, man, it might as well be named that. Um, good night, Ben Neves. Uh, glad you can join us, and uh, nice to nice to see you. It is eleven o'clock, so I think we're gonna be calling it a night very shortly, just because we, we, all three of us have early early mornings. Um, but um, yeah, um, yeah, the Red Breast uh, Dream Cask. Is wonderful, and uh, yeah. I'm sure we'll probably get a chance to to get the get a chance at the 21 year soon. The the 20 uh, year, yeah, the, the second version. Is it 20 or 21? 20. It's 20. Okay. Yeah, because that's that's uh, Oloroso. Uh, I think it was PX. Oh no, you're right. It's PX. The 32 is the Oloroso. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it Oloroso? Yeah. 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 I, I haven't had too much information on it, and, and quite frankly, doesn't matter. It could yeah, be... No. <laughs> Whatever it is. It's really yeah, gross. that could have been aged in a mod puddle. Um, it's <laughs> right. just spectacular. Mm. Whole, whole nother level. That was a big time uh, Brad spoil. Um, probably the worst Brad spoil. There will be more. Was that, was that one of the first times you came out you, you drank with us? No. Um... So the first time I tried uh, it was the Dream me. Cask was from Dave, who gave me a tiny bit of the sample that he had originally oh, yeah, yeah. got from Brad. Yeah, after uh, then, after last year's Austin trip, the tiniest and, little scrap. And then we uh, went to the uh, Spirit of Toronto, which is a really. Uh, Probably the premier whiskey um, event in Toronto um, with Brad and another friend, Scott. And Brad uh, happened to bring uh, Red Brass Dreamcast to the uh, place we were staying and just friggin' blew me away because I had a sizable pour of it. And uh, I can still, like, I can, I can. It, just thinking about that whole situation just smell brings it from it, there. You can... Oh my! I can. I can. <laughs> I'll never. I'll never. And I'm sure Vito will agree. Like, I can. I can recall that smell. No problem. It's. Yeah. It's. It's not just because it was so good, but just something about it and the experience. Um, I will always remember that smell, and I can. I can recall it uh, quite easily. It's. It's. It really is a, a like. Like, it is a lasting impression whiskey. It's a whiskey that you'll you'll never forget you that you tried. Absolutely. Um, yeah, it's well well thing. It's well, um, red breast. Fuck you. That's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Donald Rance uh, is is saying the red breast twenty five from La Maison de Whiskey is really bloody good too. And uh, I, God, God I don't think it. the twenty five that was the twenty five we had from La Maison de Whiskey. No, it was uh, it was uh, hand of whatever the little shop mm. uh, single cask Pond of uh tim too, uh sweet tea 1985 tim our friend in austin uh recently posted on the whiskey tribe uh a photo of some of his kung fu and it was a 28 year old buna haben that Ooh. was distilled in 1989 Ooh. which which uh, is was my birth year very close to actually my birth year. I think uh, my birthday. I think it was. I think it was bottled in uh, May or June of that year. Um, 
and uh, he said that he has uh, he has a little bit for me for when I visit in October, which uh, I beyond words like that would be an amazing uh, amazing treat, uh, Tim. That's that's awesome uh, for you to even you know sit, uh, offer. So thank you. I'm very much looking forward to that. But I most look forward to actually meeting you in person. So and everyone else that's going to be in Austin. That that uh, that that uh, for that uh, weekend is gonna be it's gonna be great. So that's yeah. gonna be a fun time. That we'll get, and we're gonna do a stream for like a half hour or something while we're there. I'm yeah, sure yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have the table. So um, I think soon, uh, Mark G. That's the year I graduated high school. <laughs> 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 um, sorry, bud, you 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 old, but uh, glad uh, glad to know you, man. It's an ungodly goods whiskey. Oh, so you opened it. Oh, boy. Oh, don't tell me anymore. Don't tell me anymore. Oh, boy. I'm so excited. <laughs> John G. wants you to get off his lawn. That's- yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I'm 30 now. So, like, my birthday's in February. So, like, I'm 30. It's not young, but I guess it sort of is still compared to some people. But, yeah. Oh, Vito's um, getting all grown up. I know, right? I think it's, uh, it's almost about time for me to to get my act together. I think <laughs> almost, it's almost. My parents had had me um, at twenty eight, so like they're they're already on top. They're just like like what's what's going on? Like what's uh, like what's wrong? And like, right. God, God damn it! <laughs> what's wrong? A lot. <laughs> you'll get there. Some people are just late bloomers, Vito. You'll you'll get there. It's fine. So much, so much is wrong. I've already started losing my hair. I got great. I got, I got, I got silver in my beard. Like, what's going on? So, Time is relative, man. It's true. Yeah. Um. All right. So it's eleven oh six. You guys want to start wrapping it up? Do, do uh, you know what? Yes, we are gonna wrap. Start wrapping it up. But, um, what, uh, what are we going to recommend to the people? Dan, start with you. Uh, is this our non whiskey related? Yeah, it's our fiddly bit. It could be a whiskey. It could be a uh, an album. It could be a book. I know you like. You know books. what? Well, I can recommend books for for a, a million years because I'm a massive reader. I love books, um, both fiction and non. I always have a lot on the go. Um, uh, but you know what? I'm going to do. I'm going to stick with whiskey, and I, I said it earlier in the stream. And I, and I will continue to say it again, but I just want to get it across there. North Star Spirits. Um, they are spectacular whiskey bottlers. Um, every single one I've had has been spectacular. I don't know how widely available they are because I haven't seen too many of them on, on social media. And, of course, we know if there's anything that, that's out there, social media will show. Um but the the Island Star, the Isla Star, the Orkney, uh, the Glen Tuckers, um, they're just stellar whiskeys out of this world. So if you see anything um, North Star, you're probably going to get a good bottle. Um, so if you guys ever get the chance and, and it's reasonably priced, um, even if it's a little more than maybe you'd normally spend, pick it up because as far as independent bottlings go... Um, they are batting a thousand for me. Nice. Yep. Like I said, if, if you're not going to recommend a book, I might as well recommend a book. And I'm going to even have it very vaguely whiskey related by recommending Paddle Your Own Canoe, one of uh, Nick Offerman's books. Mm. Oh. And it's basically a life advice book by Nick Offerman. And if you get the uh, audio version, it's read by him too, which is actually really great. He's got a great voice. And it's just full of like stories from his life and like random advice and things that he's learned over the years and stuff. It's it's very, very good. And it's hilarious. What about you, yeah. Uh What am I going to recommend? Um, a couple of things were, were kind of pointed out in the chat. The new Tool album's out. Amazing, amazing album. Finally, I think it's been like 12 or 13 years since their last release. What a great album that is. Um, but I'm going to talk a bit more about like music and stuff like that in the Monday stream that I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm just going to start like checking off stuff. Uh, but um, straight up, just 100%. Like, I'm so jazzed up this year for football. Thursday night football. Packers 
Yes, I'm recommending something that <laughs> like, to Americans that they're gonna. I, I go ahead, Dan, go away. But nice. man, I'm so excited for this season of football to start. So excited. Um, if you guys don't follow football and kind of have an inkling, maybe want to talk about it, maybe want to learn a little bit. You know, I'm not an expert at, at, by all means, but if you guys want to like kind of dabble in it, Monday night I'm gonna be talking about it. I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna plug it. You know, at this point, screw it. I'm gonna plug myself. Monday night, seven o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's the time. Whatever, seven o'clock p.m. Uh, it's gonna be me talking to y'all um, about everything that I enjoy. So yeah, I'll see you guys Monday night. This is a football. It's a ball. It's round. You that kick it with your foot. Okay? Could have caused this a war. Just... I don't know what you're talking about, Dan. Like, I don't understand why, why you have so much hate. There's it's so much not hate. hate. <laughs> oh, so just hate. because I want to be correct. It's a desire it's for accuracy. Technically, we still kick the ball. So, some, Oh, some for such a high percentage of the game, too. The foot contacts the ball, what, for a shred of a millisecond? Uh... Hey, hey, and, hey and, we're, and we're a whiskey review channel where we barely review whiskey. <laughs> I mean, he's got you there. So I don't know what you're talking about, dude. I don't know what but you're talking about. We still about. review whiskey. So yeah, that's that's my that's my that's my recommendation. Football tool, fucking everything. Just uh, I'll see you guys Monday night on on uh, back on this channel. Still gonna be on the on Cast Strength channel. Just my own solo stream. Um, and uh, yeah, you'll get all of my recommendations that night. So um, hope to see you. Hope to see everybody there. And I guess we'll call it a night with that. Yeah, and we'll we'll definitely have Ed on uh, some point uh, in the very near future. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably Whenever do. We'll we figure out on. what happened there. We'll have him on. I think the limit's three uh, people. We'll see if we can figure out some of the technical technical difficulties. But I think three is the limit, and I don't mind bowing out for for streams because I probably won't be able to make a lot of them. So. Um, uh, we'll see. Either way, we'll we'll work it out. Yeah, we'll Ed will be back, but check out the Rock Gut review. That's it's yes. good stuff. Yeah, Rock Gut's awesome. And uh, thanks again, guys, for sticking through all yeah, of the uh, technical still here difficulties. After all of that nonsense, you're all great. Jeez. Uh, Broncos stink. No, I'm joking. They're pretty good. I like the Broncos. Let's, let's I like orange. This. I'm closing this before Vito starts a war. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Cheers guys. Everyone. Have a good Bye. night, everyone. <laughs>